what is up you guys pete DiCarlo here and today we're gonna talk about corsair gaming so i didn't plan to initially make this video i wanted to actually do the fubo breakdown um today but corsair is up massive up about 16 percent right now and at one point the stock was actually up 32 percent so i am still doing the fubo breakdown and i will do a corsair breakdown if you guys are interested go ahead and comment down below if you want me to do a breakdown on Corsair. I will start this video by saying that I love Corsair. It is a stock that I was planning to take a long-term investment in if it pulled back down to these $25 levels and even at 29 it's really a good company and a good investment. I really, really like it. So I probably will end up doing a long-term video, but um, you know, comment down below if you want me to. And also we have some good news, guys. Very, very good news. We have partnered with the company on it. If you guys have never heard of on it, they are a supplement and fitness company. Um, I've been taking on it products for about the past seven years. Um, when I started this, I said I would only ever partner with about three companies, right? I've been approached by other companies. I don't want to say them that uh, wanted me to sponsor their product and do a partnership. And I denied most of them because there's really only three companies I wanted to work with. And one of them is um, on it. And so they're actually giving all of our viewers a free bottle of Alpha Brain. Uh, Alpha Brain is one of my favorite nootropic stacks. It really helps with memory and focus. I take it a lot before I shoot these videos. I take it also before podcasts or anytime I have to be in front of a camera. Um, it really helps me. I feel like flow my sentences together better because uh, if you guys don't know, I don't actually edit these videos anymore. These are all off the cusp, ready to go. And I've, you know, really attest a lot of it to Alpha Brain over the past couple of years. I've been taking it nearly every single weekday whenever I trade. And I'm extremely happy to speak about this partnership. If you want, go and check out Alpha Brain. Use the link down below. You can start 100% for free. Um, go ahead and do that. Check that out. The only thing you pay is shipping. It's like $5. And if you do sign up, you do support this channel and I get a very small commission. So I'm excited about that, guys. But let's get started. So taking a look at Corsair. Overall, with Corsair, the stock has some very major support and resistances. The very first one is this support at $30. So we have a major support right here. You can see as well that we have a pretty significant resistance at $35, which was old supports. So you can see here that we were bouncing before on supports around $35, which now is acting as a resistance. We have another level of support and resistance right here at $43, which we touched today and rejected. And then we have another level right up here around that $50 price target. And then some smaller levels down here, right around $27 and $26. This right here is where I plan to enter this position at like $26.50 long term, and it never hit it. So the first thing I like to do, like I said, is pull back, even if I'm long term investing or just trading. Overall, I really just like to find these support and resistances before I do anything. So for the longest time here, you can see that we are squeezing. We have this big TTM that was squeezing for a while, which shows tight price action, tight movement, and then we should get a significant move in the near future. If you look at the weekly chart too, MACD just started to cross. Histogram looks very good. RSI is pointing up. And overall, this looks very, very strong. Now, the reason that this broke out today is mainly because of Wall Street bets. So Corsair stock, nine things to know about the meme stock favorite Corsair gaming. These guys, I mean, I, I have no problem with the investor place, but it's like all of these, all of these freaking companies are using the term meme stock. Um, I would not consider Corsair gaming a meme stock. Um, personally, I mean, a lot of these meme stocks, I, you could argue that they have fundamental value behind them. Um, you know, potentially like I, I personally don't believe in GameStop long term, like the company. Um, I don't believe in AMC long term, the company, but I'm not saying there's no value in trading it. Um, but I do believe in Corsair long term and I do believe in the company. So I definitely wouldn't call it like a meme stock. Um, but we're going to go through this article. We're going to talk about why the stock is up significantly and kind of where I want to see this thing go in the next couple of weeks and where I'd look to enter a position. So Corsair Gaming stock is taking off Monday after Reddit picked the company as one of its new favorite meme stocks. Oh God, it's cringy. Wall Street Bets, the uh, top stock trading subreddit, has been talking about Corsair stock all morning. As of this writing, the most talked about stocks on the subreddit with over 686 mentions over the last four hours. With extra interest from Reddit coming higher as trading... Uh, 
Corsair as trading of Corsair stock uh, happens. That's resulted in more than 21 million shares of the stock changing hands as of Monday. For comparison, daily is about 1.3. So to give yeah, think about it, it's almost 20 times normal trading volume. So keeping that in mind, here's everything potential investors need to know about Corsair stock. Corsair Gaming Company is a company that makes PCs, PC parts, and accessories targeted at gamers. So I don't know if you guys have ever used Corsair products. I love their products. I love their keyboards. I love their mouses. Um, I believe they have really good headsets too. I feel like I think I used to have an old uh, Corsair gaming headset, but they make high quality you know, mouse and keyboards and, and really gaming accessories. It may really, if you're somebody who uses Corsair, you're a gamer or you're just into high end, you know, PCs and whatnot. Um, so it also offers a wide range of streaming gear for those who are in that route as well. So once again, gaming and streaming, they go hand in hand. The Elgato brand of streaming devices belongs to Corsair gaming. Elgato, let me tell you, they killed, killed it in the, uh, you know, pandemic. And, like to get a key light so i use it an elgato key light or key light when i i'm shooting like a straight up normal video and that light normally is like 150 bucks so they were selling for like four or five hundred dollars everything was sold out and that's just across the board it's not like that's specific to corsair but overall elgato if you're a streamer is like a must-have they have stream decks they have lights they have i believe elgato makes their own microphones they make their own cameras so they are very targeted to streamers and honestly as somebody who uh, I would consider myself a content creator for YouTube, but also a streamer because that's mainly what these videos are nowadays. They make a very, very good product. They also have software for PC and Mac to support its devices. So for instance, I have a lot of their software on my computer right now. The company's major focus is PC gaming, also offers accessories for console gaming as well. That includes headsets, other devices compatible with Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo gaming consoles. Also, it's a strong position in the market with a 41.9% share in PC component spaces. The company's uh, place in peripheral market share has it holding 18.3%, and recent earnings results included reports of revenue of around $1.7 billion for the full year. Of course, their stock was up 14% as of Monday, but it's only up 6% as start of the year. So yeah, I mean, Corsair is a phenomenal company. Personally, it's a company that I, like I said, I would invest in. Um, they really have a great market share and a great space in, um, you know, PC gaming, but also streaming. And there are a lot of streamers that have started within the past year. A lot of YouTubers have started within the past year, and I don't think that's going away anytime soon. I think that the whole streaming aspect of Corsair, if we do a full deep dive video, we'll talk more about it. But I think overall, that's a huge market for them because as we look at content going into the next decade, people care less and less about the you know TV quality and more about the personal experience that you get from streaming and watching YouTube videos like this. So overall, I, I really like Corsair long-term. But you can see from a trading standpoint that we came right up, we tapped 42, and the stock took a bit of a pullback. Now, I'm not saying I don't think the Corsair couldn't rip to 50, 60, 70, 80, $100. But overall, you're not going to end up, in my opinion, seeing this massive like 300% returns on Corsair because there is a good amount of short interest, but it's nothing like AMC and GameStop. So overall, you know, big resistance here at 43, could see 49 but Corsair personally right now is something I'm going to pass up on. Um, you know, looking at prior to this whole breakout here, it did look like Corsair was going to take a move back up into the 40s. But for me to enter Corsair long term, I would want it at minimum 30 bucks. Really, I would want it at like 26 or 27. But overall, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're trading Corsair. Let me know if you, this is something you want me to do a long term breakdown on. Um, go and check out our private academy. The link is down below. You can get access to every single trade that I take live. As soon as I take it, you can live stream with me and my team every single morning for the first hour of market open. Get access to our 60 hour course library as well as our private discord for only $10 your first month. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll see you tomorrow.